Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. We are in our office, we've got a new case which involves the White House, and now we're going to go and see our good old friend Bosco to see if there's anything he can offer for this episode, which I'm sure there will be. I'm sure we'll probably have to buy something from him as well, given how the previous three episodes went, but we shall see. Uh, did we go and see Sybil? I don't think we did either, so we might have to do that. Oh my god, I've just seen Hugh Bliss. Couldn't think of his name there, but I've just seen him over here somewhere. <gasps> He's opened a shop. Hey, a free home delivery sign. The sign's not free, but oh, my book is. Hugh is back. Whoa, look, Max. It's our favorite cultish crackpot, Hugh Bliss. Hi. I'm Hugh Bliss. <laughs> I want to buy something. Take my credit card. Put me on your mailing list. Anyone you want me to recruit? You're supposed to give the Stockholm Syndrome a few days to kick in. <laughs> Who has that kind of time? Yeah. Uh, what are you doing here? What's a big celebrity like you doing on our street, Hugh Bliss? Why, I'm spreading the great news about Prismatology. Wonderful. The magic and science of unlocking the harmony of colors for a revolution in holistic personal and interpersonal well-being. Now translated into 15,000 different languages, including Esperanto. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Max really likes this guy, doesn't he? Have you sold any books yet? Are the books selling well? Selling? You can't put a price on imagination. What? You can't sell the wonder of a daydream or the laughter of a child. Let's he's see. right. I've tried. <laughs> okay, so he's not selling them, so he's giving them away? What's your book about again? What was your book about again? Genetics? The Handbook for Multicolored Happiness? That's the one. It's about everything. And nothing at all. Oh. Okay. No, really. What's your book about? What's this prismatology nonsense really about? All it is is the total reawakening of mind, body, and spirit in a rainbow of true bliss. Lovely. Uh, Sounds... I'm really excited. <laughs> uh-huh. And how do we do that? Okay, simply focus on the orange at the core of your spirit. I'm doing it. Okay, no, wait. Okay, now. Shift your consciousness to the ultraviolet. Yeah. Doing that. <laughs> Mix it with the indigo of your imagination, and then let it slide down the rainbow of your hopes and dreams. Sounds simple enough. Wow, I can't believe it was so simple. <laughs> I'm starting to think a lot like Max, and I'm not sure that's a good thing. Well, maybe it is, but... I don't know if it is. How do you stay in business? How do you stay in business? With the magic of volume and free delivery. <laughs> you can have all the colors delivered to your home for no green. Hey, good one. I don't get it. <laughs> of course you don't. Okay, how about a magic trick? Show us a magic trick, you bliss. Magic is easy when the colors of your soul are... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> less chatter, more magic. <laughs> Yeah. Well, your mind reading is obviously still working. It is. <laughs> Go on then. Bye bye. Now watch me as I vanish. Except you won't be able to watch me because I'll be gone. Whoa. Okay. Can we raid his shop now that he's gone? Oh, we can't. All right. Well, he disappeared temporarily. So I wonder if that's some sort of a puzzle. Potentially. What's the newspapers about? President appoints action figure as Secretary of Defense. <laughs> That is pretty crazy. Yeah. Well, at least it was an action figure of John Shaft. Oh, I can dig it. <laughs> right. Non-mafia-owned casino destroyed by mysterious explosion. Mysterious? I gave my name to reporters and even posed for pictures. Ah, of course Sometimes you did. Sometimes blowing something up is its own reward, no? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. The gumball machine has changed once again. Hey, look, was that there before? The diner? Novelty gumball. Shaped just like the real thing, but made of inedible plastic. Fool your friends, annoy your grandparents. <laughs> mm. All right, let's go in. Let's Whee! see what let's see what Bosco's doing this time. Is he disguised again? What's shaking, Bosco? Ah, uh, greetings, yep. comrade. Oh my Dog God! Atlantic. I'm having trouble placing the accent this month. Mid-Atlantic states, the San Fernando Valley. Hmm, I get more of a vague Baltic vibe. Something in a light check pattern. Ha <laughs> ha! Comrade Maximilian makes the funny joke. I am Vladimir Ilyevich Boskovorsky. 
Russian proprietor of Workers' Glorious Warehouse of Inconvenience. No? No. <laughs> but now I make new start in America, which I love. So it's no need to aim in sophisticated targeting equipment at me. Okay. Why the Russian disguise? What's with the Soviet bloc, Bosco? He's perfectly natural, comrade. I work with your American government in spirit of glass They know. They know. Who knows what? The feds, man. Uncle Sam. The government's watching us all. Oh, the time. I see. So that's why I always feel an overbearing presence just out of my field of vision, watching and judging my every move. <laughs> that's me, Max. <laughs> oh dear. Why is the government watching you? Why is the government spying on you, Bosco? I don't know. Maybe it's because I know too much. Um. Just humor the poor guy, Max. But I make new start in America, which I love. So there's no need to target me. Ah, uh, fine. Do you have a defense against the feds? I suppose you've got some ridiculously complex whirly gig to defend yourself against the feds. He's the people, comrades. Workers will overthrow fascist regime. What about us loafers? <laughs> All are welcome. Come day of victory, workers will unite to bring downfall of corrupt administration. We will number in tens of millions. That's a lot of Bolsheviks. No, he's all true. Plus, I'm working on a satellite missile defense system. Right, I bet you are. You're making a mess missile defense system, of course. Missile defense system? Isn't that more than a little bit overkill? Yet, we are strong like bear against attack. I'm working on modifying BTAS part D. Your right. anti delivery system? That's right. It was already programmed to keep people from delivering goods to the store, so I just went into the database and changed beef jerky to intercontinental ballistic missiles. Uh, okay. So now anyone can just deliver a blimp load of beef jerky to your store without fear of reprisal? <laughs> it's a small price to pay for freedom. Well, we know what Max is going to do. Okay, so he's modified the BTADS thing to now detect missiles. We want to buy something. We want to buy something. Da is evil but necessary private enterprise. Okay, what have you got? What do you got? His most glorious invention, comrade. He's useful for, how you say, questioning. Right. Questioning. <laughs> His true serum makes easy, even <laughs> I the love most Max. difficult, how you say, interrogation. Interrogation. True serum? <laughs> is this another one of your half-baked overpriced gimmicks? Oh or is it my god. Work? Both will make anyone get rid of inhibitions and telling, uh, how you say, uh, complete and honest truth. Right. Your accent sucks. Hey, it's already working. <laughs> so the truth serum, that's going to come in handy. I bet it's like a million something else's. We'd like that truth serum, Comrade Boscovich. It's good. Price is 867.5309 rules. Right. How much is that in real money? 100 million dollars. Of course it is. Of course I it is. I think your rate of exchange is a little off, Bosco Borsky. Fall of Berlin Wall brings great strength to our economy. So 100 million dollars, of course. Nothing for us right now. All right, well, what's that smell? Something in here smells like fermented hate. It's like sweaty jock straps soaked in boiled cabbage with a dash of sulfur. Keep it down, guys. You're scaring off the other customers. What other customers? <laughs> what other customers? What other customers? Max and I are always the only ones in here. It's good thing. Merchandise is always available. Right. Coming in here is like visiting old friends. <laughs> Some of these cereal boxes are from the McKinley administration. I carved our initials in one of the weenies, so we'll be best friends forever, <sighs> Sam. <coughs> okay, uh, you need some new weenies. When's the last time you cleaned out the weenie rotisserie? Needs no cleaning. Adds vintage flavor to tasty friends. Oh no, it's like that Simpsons episode where Homer eats the, the like, the gone off... See you later, Bosco. ...hot dog He's or whatever no Bosco, it was. Bosco, comrade. He's only loyal worker, Bosco Worski, who is no threat to glorious American government whatsoever. Right, okay. Well, you stay there. Uh, we'll take a look around and see if there's anything new going on in this place, which I don't think there is. There's rabbits on there now. Uh, I don't think there is anything. It's a lot of security cameras, though. All right, well. Uh, where are we going to find a hundred million dollars? Where are we going to find a hundred million dollars? I could donate my body to science again, but the guys at the lab seemed pretty spooked last time. <laughs> Science fears what it can't explain, little buddy. Yeah. Okay, uh, Bosco's paranoia is really getting out of hand. Bosco's paranoia is really getting out of hand. 
You think he's acting crazy today? You should see what he was doing in those surveillance videos I took last oh, night. Oh, no. <laughs> the storm music sure is catchy. The storm music sure is catchy. It burrows into my synapses like a deer tick. <laughs> Now, there's a quote for the album cover. <laughs> All right, well, see anything appetizing? See anything appetizing, Max? I can't decide. This store has items from every part of the food pyramid. <laughs> and much of it is preserved as well as the items in the real pyramids. Yeah, pyramid. probably true. Let's go. I guess we should get back to work. All right, so, well, we know we can do some sort of mind... Well, not mind control. We can... We can give someone truth serum so they tell the truth. So that might be useful if we can get the cash for it. You know, that's going to be the big one, isn't it? I don't know if Hugh can Hi, help Bliss. us with anything. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Uh, can you disappear again? Can you disappear again? I want to figure out how you did it. It's easy, Sam. I take all the colors from my surroundings and spin them into a great big... Okay, yeah, I was just being polite. I don't care how you <laughs> do it. Okay! So there's got to be a reason for making him do this. Can we, like, do something to his sign or something? There are so many other things to punch. No, okay. Something will be done here at some point, I can tell. Let's go to Sybil's place. See if there's anything going on there now. I wonder what her, her latest business is all about. There's another one ticked off. Dating service. Okay, wow. So it's a dating service now. There's a cactus, the fox and everything are all... You know, we've got a, a heart-themed rug in here. Anything in the closet? That's where I do video intros for my dating service. Oh. Why is the door locked? It's locked? Damn it. I don't even have a key to that door. Oh. Well, that's annoying. Anything in the wastebasket? Nothing basket? useful in here. Nope. Nothing useful in there. Right, let's talk to Sybil then. Whee! Whee! Hey, Sybil. What's new in the world of frequent random career reasons? <laughs> Hi, fellas. I'm really excited. I found the perfect job That's for what you me. said last you time. Say. That's right. I, Sybil Pandemic, am now a professional matchmaker. I thought I smelled phosphorus. <laughs> I thought I smelled that joke coming down the turnpike, burning oil and dragging its muffler. <laughs> it's a dating service, Max. I figured that if a smart, successful career woman like me could be having so much trouble finding a date, there must be plenty of other people who could use help. Yeah, maybe. You can't get a date. You're having trouble finding your soulmate? You don't know the half of it. It seems like all the guys I meet are total losers. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Hey! <laughs> or else they're borderline psychopaths. No offense. Men taken. It's the borderline <laughs> cases you have to watch out for. <laughs> what kind of man are you looking for? What kind of man are you looking for? Older men. Guys with a little history to them are such a turn on. Oh, and tall men. And distinguished. Okay, well. And he should be experienced. <laughs> All right, enough already. Yes, I will go. <laughs> well, I thought she was talking about me. <laughs> Maybe one of the, maybe the security guard or Hugh Bliss. Could you find dates for us? Could you find dates for Max and me? Seriously? I mean, sure. Why not? Stranger things have happened, I guess. They must have somewhere. Rude. I'm choosing not to be offended by yeah. that. Yeah. What do we need to do? It's easy. Just submit an application. Uh, okay, we want to submit an application. What kind of stuff is on this application? The usual. Your best traits. And what kind of person you're looking for. This feels Hooks like a hands. puzzle. Hooks for hands! <laughs> when you're done, I'll put the application into my computer, which analyzes your personality matrix at 15 essential compatibility points. Right. I don't have a personality matrix so much as a personality vector. <laughs> Once we've found a match, you call your date and agree on a time and place. Right. Let me help you guys out. Tell me your good points and what you're looking for in a date. Uh, we're obviously going to have to... Um, this is a puzzle then, so let's not... That's all I can think of. Oh, that's plenty. Now I'll just put your applications into the computer. Beep. And there it is. Max, it says your perfect match is... Cybernetic laser eyes. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. <laughs> well, that's interesting. 
It says your perfect match is Sam. <laughs> there we go. And yet somehow not completely unexpected. And Sam, your ideal soulmate is... Wait for it. Max. Well, there goes another blow to the concept of a fair and just universe. <laughs> hey, it's Sam, meant to be. What do you say we never ever speak of this again? <laughs> Way ahead of you, little buddy. <laughs> it's meant to be. What's next on the career horizon? What's next on the career horizon? Next? This is it. What could be a better job than helping people find their perfect match? said that match? last time. Volcano God. Volcano God. I'll stick to the dating business, though. Okay, fine. How many matches have you made? How many couples have you managed to escort to romantic bliss? So far, none. Oh. None is the loneliest number. <laughs> but I've got a feeling things will start to pick up after the holidays. All that stress makes for a lot of messy breakups. And a lot of people looking for romance on the rebound. So we have something to look forward to. <laughs> Alright, how's business? How's business? Slow right now. But those applications are going to start coming in at any moment. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. See you around, Sybil. See you around, Sybil. Alright, well, there's going to be a puzzle there, isn't there, as well? So we've got a couple of puzzles, but we don't actually know what we're doing with them yet. So maybe we'll have to do that hold thing on the phone with the secret agent next and see if that allows us to go into the White House. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, and Hobo for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.